Hi, and welcome to Surrounded by Sass Reviews. I really haven't posted in a little while here on the YouTube. Things have been kind of crazy here with the holidays approaching and shopping and trying to get the house ready and decorating and it's been crazy and I'm pretty sure that uh, it's probably been pretty crazy for all you guys out there too. Tonight, we finally put ornaments on the Christmas tree. Um, we have a lot of our stuff in storage, so we just kind of were lazy this year and didn't take out a tree, so we got another one. And it was pre-lit, so that was pretty cool. And um, I asked my husband to go get some uh, Christmas ornaments, and he and my son went to the mall, and they didn't come back with Christmas ornaments. They came back with a string of TARDIS lights. Um, for anybody who doesn't know this from Doctor Who, Big Whovians, right here. Seriously, okay, big geek. Um, we love the show, so my husband's kind of special too. It is um, my first year married to my husband. We've been together for four, a little over four years, but just recently, uh, this past June, we got married. So it's our first married Christmas. And um, another really cool thing that's happening is my stepdaughter, who's 14, is going to come and spend the holidays with us. Um, this is my first time meeting her, so I'm really nervous, so if she doesn't like me or whatever, you know, I mean, so hopefully this next year is long and not to be really crazy, but yes, I think for the one day that she's coming, and so I'm kind of here if everything goes okay, I mean, my husband's really happy about it, that he, she's coming to spend time with us. I'm happy too. I'm just scared, you know, the big, mean, bad stepmom. No, I'm not being poor bad. But anyway, um, let's get down to business here. Um, I've got quite a few things to show everyone since I haven't really been good about making videos lately. Um, the first thing I want to do is that can be in wine that kind of damage the flavor a little bit. So by letting the wine oxidize, it actually enhances the flavor. It, um, you know, lets the tannins and sulfites kind of die down a little bit. Cause you know, you, you have a glass of wine and then a little while later you have that really nasty headache. Yeah, I've heard that's the sulfites. So, um, wine aerator. And then I have a little a single size bottle of Sutter Home wine. My husband was nice enough to go and buy me a four pack of this the other day. And 
not a big white wine fan. But so for the wine aerator, you just pop it right in the top. And then I'm going to let this set for a few minutes before I go ahead and pour it in my glass. But, um, you know, you want to give it a minute to marinate the oxygen. So we're going to set that over here. I'll come back to that in just a second because my kids are in bed and it's mommy time. So I like to have my glass of wine and watch Farscape. Geek. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm... I haven't even had a drink yet and I'm already acting like an idiot, so. Okay, this next thing I wanted to share with you guys. All right, it is Art Naturals Peppermint Oil, 100% pure, pure essential oil. Okay, and it says it is good for your hair and scalp. It's good for your mind. You put it in a diffuser, it enhances concentration. It is shown to provide relief from stress, depression, and mental exhaustion. It's also good around your home. It's uh, perfect for around the home and garden, can be effective insect repellent, helps keep mice, spiders, ants, fleas, lice, roaches, and rodents away. Well then, that's good to know. Um, it's very, 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 very minty. It smells really good. Oh my gosh, it smells like one of those Christmas peppermints. Um, I've actually already used this. Um, do. Okay. I made homemade peppermint sugar body scrub for gifts for people this Christmas. And what I did was, I don't know if I've talked about buy nothing to you guys on here yet, but I'll make it really, really short and sweet if I can here. <clears throat> By nothing, actually, it started out here in Bainbridge, Washington. I'm not in Bainbridge, but you know, I'm in Washington, so it counts. As a um, kind of an alternative for the whole consumerist um, way of life, you know, you share what you have with other people and people share with you. Um, their platform is on Facebook, so you join a group that is basically hyper local to you. Like in my city, I live in Kent, so um, my Kent is a huge, <clears throat> excuse me, not a huge area, but you know, it's pretty big. So there's like four or five different little Kent groups. I belong to the Kent East group. Um, I think there's like a I want to say a thousand people, but don't quote me on that in the group. And, you know, people go through their stuff and they post it on there with pictures um, saying we're giving this away. People will go on there and say, hey guys, I'm looking for XYZ. In this case, I went on there asking for jars. And a nice lady on there had a bunch of baby jars left over from her cute little 12 month old boy. So I got 10 of these. And then I um, took some coconut oil I already had in the cupboard and I melted it and mixed it with some sugar. And then um, a few drops of the peppermint oil, actually a lot of drops because I like stuff to smell really strong. Um, I bought some self-adhesive uh, sticky paper from the dollar store and put it on the lid so you didn't see the Gerber label. Um, I also bought these little labels here from the dollar store and then I already had this lace so I I mean honestly this cost me cents to make I mean I had almost every single thing I made 10 of these and I'll be giving them to um, a bunch of the different female family members for Christmas amongst other things but you know I always like to make something and to give it like a little personal touch uh, so uh, I'll be posting that on my blog with a recipe on how to make it. I mean, it's, you know, basically the measurements, so, and pictures. So please go to my website. It's surroundedbysass.weebly.com and look for the coconut peppermint, or, no, sorry, not coconut, the peppermint sugar body scrub link on there. Um, another thing that I recently got from here, and... I'm pretty sure I got the peppermint oil from Elite Deals. Uh, the wine aerator I got from Thomason. And here is another product from Thomason also. It is the Hair Growth um, Botanical Renovation Ginger and Saw Palmetto Scent Scalp Treatment. It fights hair loss and promotes hair growth. 
Now, I'm pretty into using hair regrowth stuff that's natural because after having my last baby about two years ago, um, up front here still hasn't really been the same. It's embarrassing. I really only have a couple hairstyles that I can do that kind of don't show it. But if, you know, you part my hair a little more this way, it's, it's pretty bald. I can't, I really like to do pinup hairstyles and I really haven't been able to do those a lot because, um, you know, I like to do the pompadour or, you know, the victory roll right here. But, you know, when I'm uh, teasing my hair and then I put it up, there's no amount of teasing that I can do that really shows the, the spot up front. So... I was invited to try this out and it has all natural ingredients like it's a whole plethora of different seed oils perilia rose hip saw palmetto oil chili oil ginger essential oil peppermint tea tree oil vitamin e oil cottonwood pro vitamin b5 turmeric carrot seed oils um I can't pronounce that, I'm not even going to try, calendula wax, cayenne pepper extract, vitamin A, all kinds of stuff. And when I first got this, I could smell it before it was even out of the box. It smells like ginger heaven. I love it. Mm, yeah, it's so good. So I've actually used this twice and um, the directions are to put it on your hair and massage it into your scalp about 20 minutes before you take a shower and each time that I've done that um, you know I felt like a little tingly on my scalp I think that's probably the cayenne but um, you know I've used it twice in the last week so I mean obviously it's not gonna nothing's gonna happen overnight but um, it says here that it reduces hair loss by promoting additional blood circulation around hair follicles and restores lost proteins that improve hair quality for both men and women. Well, good thing my husband doesn't have any signs of balding because I'd be slathering this all over his head and he'd probably get really mad at me, but um, I'm very hopeful for this stuff. Yay! It smells great. Mm, it's pretty strong. I love it. I love strong scents. So, um, so far, so good. I'll probably do another update at the end. Um, I have, I think, a month to try this out and um, finish up the review on it. So I will probably do, um, sorry, I'm trying to find a place to put that in. Probably do another review on the outcome of it. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yes. I got this Realty, where'd I get it, where'd I get it? Thomason, okay. Um, it is an extractor kit that didn't come in there <clears throat> it has all of these torture devices yay no not really these are different comedone extractors comedone is a fancy esthetician name for a pimple um let's see it's a blackhead and comedone extractors they all have different little ends on it oh shoot i was gonna bring my old one in here to show it to you but i forgot so i think i mentioned this before about six years ago I went to esthetician school when I lived in um, the Midwest and they gave us as part of our kits they gave us um, comedone extractors which looked like uh, this is actually a really big version of it this is side is supposed to be the blackhead removers and then this is supposed to be like the whitehead and other blemish removers but it was a lot smaller and like I don't know, it was really expensive. It was like this special made in Germany tool and whatnot. And then this end just popped right off. Yeah, you know, made in Germany. Well, I mean, nothing about the Germans or whatever, but it mean, it was like this super expensive tool that just went, it was lame. But um, anyway, this one right here, imagine this is for popping whiteheads. And this bad boy right here, I don't look too close, is for blackheads. This little tiny pinhole, you put it over first, you know, you steam your face or when you get out of the shower or whatever, so your skin is, um, you know, nice and softened up and all the, the oils and the sebaceous glands and everything in your skin are all nice and soft. And you just put this little hole over your blackhead and just press ever so slightly and out it comes. So I've been using this bad boy this a lot too I really like this and you know these are all just different little tools for basically the exact same thing but um, 
I've been using it. I'm a picker, I have to admit. It's kind of gross to talk about, I guess, you know, if you get grossed up by that kind of stuff, but I love it. So, um, I've been using it a lot and, um, you know, on my nose and I've got big pores, so I'm like digging and digging, which I probably shouldn't. And I've given myself a few zits because I've really irritated the area, but you know, don't do that. And I didn't steam first, you know, I should know better, but I didn't because I was really excited to use it. So this kit's awesome. Gets rid of all the pimples. Um, another thing I got is lots of beauty products today, I guess, um, is from Oz Naturals. Um, it is their Ancient Orient Rice Enzyme Dermafoliant with lactic acid and B5 with green tea extract. And I've used this twice. It has like a little shaker at the top. And all you do is shake a few of the little granules in your hand and uh, you know you add some water and you stir it up it turns kind of a brown color but it makes you know it kind of sticky to your skin and not just so powdery so then you rub it all over your face and you know it's an exfoliant so it feels like little grains of sand I mean it's not sand but you know it feels all grainy and whatnot and you rub it all over your face really good getting you know your areas where your skin might be extra dry or whatnot and you leave it on what does it say I think it says for I can't find it right now. Oh, sorry, here we go, at least five minutes. It says, um, gently scrub in a circular motion for several minutes and allow scrub to sit on skin for at least five minutes, allowing the lactic acid time to penetrate the skin. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. And basically, you know, when you exfoliate, you wanna do so because you're gonna be washing your face afterwards. You're gonna be putting on your serum or your eye cream or whatever your beauty regimen is. Um, you're gonna be putting your goo and crap all over your face. And um, exfoliating basically helps to take off the dead skin cells, making your skin fresh and ready to absorb whatever you're gonna put on your skin better. Usually, I like to put a vitamin C um, serum on my face after I exfoliate and after I cleanse and so you know after I exfoliate I put the vitamin C serum on there and having you know all the dead skin cells and whatnot taken away it is better able to penetrate my skin and the um, effectiveness is it is a lot better so yay okay oh you know what I think I'm going to pour my wine now yay yeah this is gonna be good vlogging and drinking we'll see how this goes so i actually use this with a bottle of red wine you can kind of see how it's like glurping i guess that's the word glurping through the aerator here getting lots of air into the wine um i use this with a big bottle of red wine my favorite cheap wine to book chuck merlot and i have a problem with spilling I really do. See, look there. It went right back into the spout, and I didn't get it everywhere. And that's what I usually do. You know, with a big old bottle, you know, I glug, 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 and it spurts out this way, and I get it all over down the side of the glass with the bottle. And, you know, this spout is really handy, because that didn't happen any of the times I've used it, and I've used it a lot lately. So, cheers! Yum! It actually makes this taste better, and this is not my favorite brand of wine at all. And it, it makes it taste really good, so. Mmm. You know, I've, I don't know why I haven't had one of these things before, but really, it really changes the taste of your wine. It makes it taste a hundred times better. I mean, I, I buy the Trader Joe's wine just because, you know, I, I don't want to spend $10 on a bottle of wine. I mean, maybe that's bad, but I just really don't. <laughs> because I'm going to drink it, and then I'm going to feel guilty. I just spent $10 on mine, you know. I just drank all that away. So, spending 3 bucks isn't a big deal. And, you know, it's not the best wine out there. But, you know what? With a wine aerator on it, it is the best wine. <laughs> so, if you are a wine fan, if you know someone who's a wine fan, get them a wine aerator. I mean, they're really not that expensive. Um, I think... Uh, this one goes on Amazon, I think, for like 10 bucks. So, it's yay. Big yay. Alright, so, let's get to some of the samples I've received this month. I ordered a Jiffy recipe book 
My husband is a big cornbread fan. My girls love helping me make muffins and Jiffy is always on sale. So there's a lot of different things. There's uh, pizza, um, Belgian waffles, biscuits and rolls, um, cornbread stuffing, spinach casserole. I mean, it has a ton of stuff in it. Definitely think I'll be using that soon. Um, here's one I actually haven't opened. It is um, a Nivea sample. And what did I get here? Ooh, I got some in shower body lotion. I have never used that stuff before. And a coupon for a dollar off. Yay! Love it. And then here's something. I didn't get it as a sample, but I did get it off by nothing. Um, they are the big baggie of wipe and clear biodegradable lens wipes. And my girls, well, not my three-year-old, but the two-year-old, she's always grabbing my glasses like right here and yanking them off my face and throwing them across the room. She thinks it's hilarious. It's not. So I <laughs> always get fingerprints and whatnot all over the place. But um, so somebody was giving these away and I said, please pick me. My little girl always throws my stuff across the room and gets fingerprints all over it. So I went and got them and I've actually used them a couple times and it's really cool because no more fingerprints. But, um, you know, I'll talk about by nothing, I guess, more in depth. Maybe I'll, I think I want to make a post on my blog about it. Um, it's actually a really important part of my life and, you know, it's not just about getting stuff. It's not just about giving stuff. You know, it's it's supposed to be a place where you can find community. And I mean, I grew up in this city. Um, I haven't always lived here, but you know, I grew up here and now I'm back. And so much has changed since I've been back. You know, you, you grow up, your high school friends change, they get married, they have kids. And you know, sometimes you lose touch with them. And, and moving back here, I mean, we've been back here two years and it's been, you know, kind of lonely, not you know, trying to reconnect with people who just, you kind of, you know, you're not, not friends. You just have kind of lost, you know, commonalities and whatnot. But being a part of By Nothing out here, I have made so many awesome lady friends. And, you know, my son has made friends through the people that I've met on here. And, you know, the group of people that I've met, they really, truly care about each other. And I feel so lucky to be a part of this and um, have been told about it. And, you know, I really, really encourage everybody to um, Google Buy Nothing Project. I think it's .org. Ugh, I don't want to say, actually, you know what? I have something that says, hold on. Uh. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's buynothingproject.org. Google it, check it out. Um, they will tell you whether or not on there, they've got like a little search for your location. It will tell you whether or not there's one on your locate in your area. And if there isn't, you know, take a chance, start one. It's not hard. It's actually really, really fun. And, um, you know, a couple things that we do in my group that I want to share is, um, you know, it's a 21 and over group so anybody 18 and under I mean I don't know if it's just my area specifically if it's all areas but um, we have a taboo Tuesday where people post fun things for couples or yourself <laughs> so um, you know that's one fun thing that we do on there another thing is wishful Wednesdays you know people will go on and and talk about I mean anything that they wish for. Um, a couple weeks ago, I wished for a Scentsy warmer and some um, wax melts, and someone had it, and I got that, and my kitchen smells amazing, and my house smells good. So, um, then I'm, you know, and since it's Christmas time, there are a lot of families in need too, and it's just really, really melted my heart to see how many families have been adopted, how many kids are getting Christmases because of the generosity and the love and just the huge giving community spirit within the group. Um, it, it's amazing. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, you know, I really, really encourage you to go on to buynothing.org find a group in your area, sign up, you know, start giving, ask for things. I mean, don't, it's amazing. You know, you're going to make so many good friends and, um, it's really been like a big game changer in my life. It really, really has. 
and I cannot say enough good things about it. And you know, I'm I'm gonna be talking about it probably all the time, so you're gonna get sick of it. So just go check it out because you know you want to. I'll post links to it down here. Don't worry about it. It's good if you don't remember what it is. I will take care of that for you. Okay, so another website that I wanna talk about, that's awesome also, is CrowdTap. I've been really active on CrowdTap lately and um, I've gotten accepted for a lot of different missions. And let's see here. Oh, the first one is I, the Johnson's Baby Take Along Pack. And we are going to be doing a lot of traveling over the holidays. And this is perfect to take along with this. It's got uh, baby powder and head to toe baby wash. You could tell I've already kind of used some of it. We ran out of baby wash in the shower the other night or the girls' bath. So I just kind of improvised shampoo. <clears throat> a baby lotion and a desitin. Excuse me. Um, but, you know, this was designed for us to be able to use on the go, and like I said, we're going to be really busy this Christmas. I'm kind of, like, uh, feeling kind of crazy about it, actually thinking about it. Christmas Eve, we're going to my mom's, then Christmas Day, we're opening gifts here, going to my husband's family's house, and the next day, where he's going to pick up my stepdaughter, Yay! And we're driving out, you know, pretty far to go visit his dad. So we're having three Christmases. Lots of traveling. I know this is going to come in handy because you never know with two-year-olds what's going to happen. How many baths they're going to need from, you know, the time you leave the house, the time you get home. You know, all kinds of blots, all the fun stuff, moms. You know what I'm talking about. So um, another mission I was accepted for on CrowdTap is for the... Rock Retinol Complexion Deep Wrinkle Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 30. And I know I've talked about how I'm pretty much obsessed with sunscreen. Something I learned in esthetician school. You know, um, sun exposure is a huge part of aging and wearing sunscreen is immensely important to help fight the um, environmental causes of aging. Um, I've used this bunch since I've gotten it every day. It's the day cream. It has a really light, fresh scent. I really like it. Um, I'm going to be using this for four weeks and then doing a report on it. Um, it works well. I mean, I use a lot of different products on my face. I'm kind of a product whore. Um, <laughs> so, you know, after my serums and um, anti-wrinkle cream, not anti well, actually I stopped using all them because I'm using this one. So, you know, I have lines on my forehead that I really don't like. I've got some lines here that are creeping up on me. Um, I've just been using this for about a week now, so I haven't really seen it. Really, you know, like I said, it's not an overnight thing. That's why the mission is for four weeks. Yay! But I've heard a lot of really good things about this product. Um, so I'm interested to see what the results are going to be in the end. Another, okay, so um, I have two things left to show you. Um, one of them is the Sweet Mo Crowd Tap Mission. And it comes with a cute little purse here and a bunch, a bunch, bunch, bunch of different little packs of Sweet Mo. Um, two packs and a coupon and they fit you know just right inside of here to take with you wherever you're going this holiday season and then it also comes with two recipe cards a spicy so nicey chocolate coffee and a lighter pumpkin latte actually when I'm done here I'm probably gonna go downstairs and make this pumpkin latte because it sounds pretty stinking good um also their website has a whole array of different uh, recipes. Um, one I think I'm gonna make on Christmas Eve for my mom is the chai tea. And I'm thinking about the light eggnog recipe also, but um, I figure, you know, that Christmas Eve is a good 
night of any to make some uh, non-alcoholic beverages for my mother and I to enjoy. So that'll be pretty cool because we're not doing alcohol at her house this holiday season. So, you know, we have to enjoy something. The last thing I have is um, this kitchen rug. There you go. It's pretty big. It's huge actually. It's from Norco. And I got it off Thomason. Um, it's to go in front of your kitchen sink and we don't have a dishwasher so I have to hand wash our dishes a lot. And I feel like my feet when I get done always hurt. And this, I can't stop touching it. It's really soft, <laughs> sorry. But it's really soft. It's got, you know, good padding on it. Uh, the other side has got, um, you know, a lot of little non-stick bumps all over it so it doesn't slide everywhere. Non-stick, yeah, that's a frying pan, not a rug. Sorry. See, I told you vlogging and drinking. Look at that. <laughs> Don't go together. Mm. So, anyway, that's all I have for everybody today. Please go down here into the comments. Check out all of the links I have for you for CrowdTap, for ByNothingProject.org. I'll put Thomason on there. Please go to my website, check out my uh, tutorial on the peppermint coconut sugar scrub. Um, I'm going to have lots of freebies on there for you also. Uh, like my Facebook page, I'll put links to that down below also. I'm on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm like plugging here away. Please don't, please forgive me, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll put all the information down below for everyone, and I'm probably not going to be on again until after Christmas, so I hope everyone has a really happy holiday, and um, I'll see you next time.